Welcome back to Lens Studio. In this part, we will start to build the portal shader. If you have never used the shader graph before, I suggest you first check out our beginner VFX guides and documents at the link in the description below. It will give you a better understanding of what we are going to do next. First of all, let's assign a shader to our occluder. We take the graph occluder. Ok, let's move on to the portal. We start with the empty material. Open material editor by double clicking on it. As you remember, the portal material can be divided into several basic elements. An outer transparent area with refraction, then a layer of styled water and a layer of foam on the underground part. We start with the water layer, then add the foam and finally make an outer layer with refractions that will connect the real world with portal. The heart of the shader will be Voronoi noise. We edit and a surface UV node, which we connect to the seed input. Voronoi noise has two outputs. We will use both to simulate water flows and foam. Stretch this noise on the x-axis. I do it with scale chords and set the scale parameter of the noise to 1. In this way, we can animate it with more predictable speed by adding time after the scales. Also, black time uh, into parameter offset. Speed it up to give more randomness to the noise. Using the step node, we get a hard mask. Multiply it by the second output, which gives more randomness to our mask. It will serve as a brightness for the water color. Ok, now we need a base color. Create a mix node to mix the two colors and in the ratio parameter connect the Y channel from UV chords. This will give a gradient from the outer edge to the inner part. Let's set the water colors. Lighter for the inside and darker for the outside. To control the brightness, I convert RGB to HSV values. So, uh, now the third channel here is uh, responsible for brightness and we need to add our mask to it. Let's assemble the vector with construct vector. We leave 0 for the first two values and to the color and convert back to the RGB. It's too bright, so I'm just multiplying the mask by 0.5 to reduce the brightness. That's it, now we have a base layer of water. For form we use the same approach. But it should only be on the fallen part of the water. Let's use normals to highlight only vertical surfaces. Let's make a dot product normals on the vector that's look up. It gives white color where vector's direction will match and black where normals are deflected by 90 degrees or more. Let's add the noise to the normals and uh, use the step node for hard mask like in the case of water. So, we got the form. With another step node, we make a reverse mask and multiply by the form to remove it from the horizontal surface. Let's add it to the water layer. Ok. We are ready to move on to the refractions part. See you in the next video. We will continue to build the shader and work on the layer with refractions.